Governor Greg Abbott was in Waco today to deliver remarks at Get Out the Vote events for Representative Candidate Pat Curry. That's right. The rally took place earlier today at the Urban Air Adventure Park. Fox 44's PJ Hessner was at the rally and joins us now in the studio. PJ, what is Greg Abbott pushing for? Thanks, MG. Well, for Governor Greg Abbott, this Get Out the Vote tour is all about ensuring he's got a really powerful team by endorsing politicians that represent the conservative values of Texas. Today, it was Pat Curry who was running for House District 56. Governor Greg Abbott and House District 56 candidate Pat Curry spoke today on what they consider to be the most important topics in the election. The March election, the election that we're in right now, is extremely important. And the election that's coming up in November is probably the single most important election of our lives. Strengthening the economy, lowering property taxes, school choice. There was a ballot initiative on the ballot two years ago in the primary that asked, do you support school choice? And 85% of you said yes, that you do. And securing the border. If they don't protect, help us and help our governor protect our border, we are in serious, serious trouble. Governor Abbott shared how he's working to prevent illegal migrants from crossing the border, from building a military base at Eagle Pass to bringing back laws that have helped border security in the past. It was just four years ago we had the lowest illegal border crossings in about 45 years. And there, there's a reason for it because Trump put in place four policies. Remain in Mexico, Title 42, in catch and release, and build the border wall. That led to an all-time record low and illegal crossings. McLennan County Sheriff Parnell McNamara was officially designated to oversee Operation Lone Star in Central Texas. Abbott says he is the best person to lead the charge in tracking down illegal immigrants in Central Texas, especially along I-35. We reached out to the other candidate running for House Seat 56, Debbie Duke, who was endorsed by Doc Anderson, but she hasn't gotten back to us yet. In the studio, PJ Hessner, Fox 44 News.